Welcome to Shampoo and Booze, a podcast about Airbnb and short-term rentals at shampooandbooze.com. We are Ryan and Ashley, sisters who run Airbnbs and want to help you run yours. Every week, we cover topics about the design and operation of short-term rentals. Send us your questions with an audio file or written to shampooandbooze at gmail.com, and we'll do our best to cover topics you care about. We are also available to give design and listing advice for your Airbnb or short-term rental. Check out our services page at notperf.com to book a time with us. Okay, we are in the same room. We're in one room. Although normally it kind of sounds like we're in the same room. Yeah, right. Because so, the audio is pretty good. But here we are. We're in person. We're podcasting. Do, do, do. Episode 70. So we are going to talk about our design tiers because we are for hire. Da, 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 da. We are not perfect design. I mean, what's interesting to us is talking about design for short-term rentals, which is a very specific thing, right? We're not talking about commercial, you know, coffee shop spaces, although I love to talk about that too. <laughs> yeah, that's another episode. That's like a whole other thing, right? Um, I'm not talking about designing your own house. This is like... A very specific... I'm actually sitting in an Airbnb right now with you. Yay! So, you know, I, I look around the room and I'm like, yep, this needs to happen. This needs... These are things that don't necessarily have to happen at your own house. So Ryan is visiting me right now in Western Mass where I'm living. And uh, the moment I walked into the Airbnb, I was like... <laughs> How is it? I was like, how's it going? And she goes, oh, I've got opinions. <laughs> so we were just joking because we could like leave... I mean, we wouldn't be able to talk about it on the podcast, but we could leave our card you and, so and be like, uh, we have some advice for you. Now, look... You could do that in not not the public review, not the no, you no, could no. do it in the public review, but yeah. you, there are private notes you can give hosts. Absolutely, so, and we always ask for suggestions. Sometimes they get cranky about people's suggestions. So I'm like, <laughs> you want me to what? The most recent one was like, oh, you should add a bathroom to this other. <laughs> add a, you know how much that costs? I would <laughs> love a, to add a bathroom. You're like, I will put a porta potty in the backyard. Thank you very much. <laughs> I would love to add a bathroom. <laughs> you know, so so yeah, we're always thinking about these things, and um, we have talked about it on the podcast before. We have design services that are. Very affordable, in my opinion. Well, and so one of the reasons why we called ourselves not perfect design is because I think so often, especially when people are, are doing short term rental design, they obsess over certain things, right? Like I've been to so many Airbnbs where it's clear that they really wanted to get one detail right. But then they're like missing all of these other aspects of actually hosting people. So right. maybe they're obsessed with, you know, uh, I see so many Airbnbs with like little quote, uh, oh. like paintings or something that'll <laughs> we be call like, them signs. Yeah. They'll, they'll, oh, they're oh, they're signs. They're called signs. Okay. Quote signs. Yes. And you know, it'll be like no no road is a journey. Whatever they are. Like, <laughs> No road. I'm going to come up with one. Yes. No road is a journey. And you're like, what? <laughs> or it'll be like dream home. And you're like, is it though? Is it? Yeah. Is it? Your coffee makers. No. So I, and bless all of your hearts who have, have these in your homes. It's totally, that's, that is, you do you. You're allowed to you do just, that. You just do you. But I, I, so the reason why we called ourselves not perfect is we want to encourage people to not obsess over certain details and to give themselves some leeway to do things in a scrappy way that are, you know, well-hosted spaces. They look nice. They well feel out. good. Exactly. But they don't have to be perfect. Like you're not at the Ritz Carlton. So we're trying to just give people options and advice. But look, I was just saying to Ashley before we started this podcast, we just got our newest Airbnb up, right? And we host this podcast. We've been doing Airbnb for years. We've stayed in Airbnbs for years, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm still thinking, I need you to look at my listing because I need to make sure that I'm not obsessing over this certain chair at this angle. You know, like I, I need a second pair of eyes or several to just say, no, this looks good or this angle is not translating what I need it to because I'm so focused. I want you to see the beds, but you're not seeing everything. You know, there's mm -hmm. certain things where you're just like, 
I need someone else who's in this world to look at it for me and tell me if I'm doing okay or if I need to change something or amend something, which is why Airbnb is great, actually. You can change your listing, you can amend your listing at any time, um, and you can learn as you go. So that's kind of what's cool about this business is you can get suggestions from uh, guests or friends or people like us, and just you just change it. And then you rephotograph and you're like, good, <laughs> good to go. So that's really the essence of why we wanted to offer design advice services and to a certain degree, some operational services. Right. So that's a little bit more on the custom side, but we wanted to go through our different price tiers and just say, here's what we can offer you. So the first tier, we have three, well, four-ish tiers. Um, the first tier we call Baby Steps. And basically, it's about listing optimization. So, you know, I went through this just recently where I am just trying to, and we've talked about this before, think about my title. They give you, I think it's 50 characters. It's not that many. You know, there's things now like the custom URL. You have to sit there and really be like, what should I call this? Like, what's going to grab people's attention? It's just a title. But it, it's so much. It's it's in Google. It's you know through Airbnb search. What are people typing to find my place? You know, it's things like that that you're like, I have to think about this because I've seen so many listings where it'll have a title and you're like, I have no idea what that means. River cabin number three. What does that mean? That says nothing to me except maybe it's on the river. But, you know, so it's things like that where you can get kind of stuck in the weeds and you're like, I got to have someone else's perspective. I did that with you with our newest uh, rental, you and and our mom. I was like, please help me with this title. Yep, <laughs> like, give exactly. me some advice. Right. So the next one is uh, the next thing that we offer in the baby steps in terms of listing optimization is looking at your photo quality and content suggestions. So just like you're saying, looking through your actual listing, going photo by photo and saying, how's the quality, not just in terms of the photo quality, the lighting, but also like what information am I getting by looking at this picture? So it might be like, great, this is a great bathroom photo and we don't need three bathroom photos, right. you know? So there, you know, we talk about this on the podcast all the time, but can we look through your listing photo by photo and really say, this is the information I'm getting by looking at this. Here's what I would like to see more of. Yeah. Right. And like you said, we're, we're not like photo quality, like this, this, you know, you took it with an iPhone versus you took it with a professional camera, which does matter sometimes, but yeah, it's what's in it, what's being communicated to people. Um, especially when people are on their phones, flipping through stuff fast, you know, did you get your, I mean, we almost have to be like marketing and advertising people on our listings. Uh, you have to compete with other people and you have to get the information across really quick on a tiny screen, sometimes on a tiny screen, you know. Again, something we talk about is description and title wordsmithing. So again, titles are super important. Descriptions are important and, and Airbnb is funny because They'll give you all these, like, it seems like five different sections where you can, like, describe your place. And you're like, here's the short description that you would see, like, at the top of the listing. And then there's a place where you can, it, I think it's unlimited text, where you can just be like, here's my house rules plus, like, every little, basically, we put our house manual in there. This is what you do for emergencies. This is what's down the street. This is where you would go for beer and wine. Like, it's like... Because honestly, I feel like people want to know that stuff. If they don't want to know it, they won't read it. But sometimes I get really uh, caught up in those things and overwhelmed by them. I think we can help out with that because I think we're good at like keeping ourselves on track with, you know, getting information across. And then we will help identify your target market and how to attract them with your listing. So just like we're saying with title as an example. So you might be in a crowded market, right? You might be in You're New in York City. Market. Yeah, you might be in Boston. Right. And so how do you communicate through your title and your short description, the amenities that you have, the location that you're in and the character of your short term rental? Right? What makes your rental special? 
I'm in a place right now where I'm in a rental that's in a college town that's probably booked all the time. Um, so they're not really making it that special. It's a cool space, but you're like, can you get away with certain things in certain markets? Not that I want people to get away with stuff, but what is my market? Someone's looking for a hotel room basically, but it's cheaper than a hotel and it's uh, got a kitchen. Or I'm in a crowded-ish vacation market and I have competitors who are right on the river. Everybody wants to be right on the river or with views of the mountains. And I have places that aren't on either, like don't have either of those things, any of those things, but we've made our places special enough and conveyed that to enough people that I'm booked, I'm 90% booked year round. Uh, It's possible to do that, even if you're like you say in a crowded market. So one of the things that people write us about the most um, that I've noticed is they are curious how we chose pricing yep. based on our area, their area, right. and they want advice on their listing, How basically how to differentiate themselves from their competitors. And really, that's what hiring us is all about. So right. we could look at pricing if you needed. We could you know, look at your title, look at how you're standing out, and actually look at your own local market yes. and figure out how to help you stand out. So that's really the baby steps of listing optimization. And then at the end of that, we would send you an email of all of our advice. Right, we'd sum it up. Yeah, and then you would have this almost like checklist of, okay, here's what we saw. Here's our advice for you. Here's, you know, what what we saw in terms of optimizing your listing. We've done these things on our own. But it so helps to have someone else do it. I mean, with you, you know, I mean, obviously we would be asking you about your market and like, what are people coming to your area for? You know, like I've heard people are like, oh, I have a rental for like, there's a really famous hospital in our area and there's visiting nurses who work for a few weeks at a time or people visiting people in the hospital or people going to, you know, like we, I don't have that, but um, someone else does so you can cater to that market and they already know that. So how can we better cater to that market? I also find hearing about other people's areas endlessly fascinating. Why are you doing this? What is your market? What are you hoping to gain out of this? I mean, other than making a living. And so many times, I mean, people who are doing short-term rentals, you know, they're like us. They have an extra space or they have a, another, you know, building that they just purchased or, you know, they're not like big time developers. Right. They're not like hotel, hotel owners. You know, I mean, some people are, Yeah, but that's not the level we're working on. Yeah. And so for us, it's like, how do we help each other out? You know, exactly. the short term rental community isn't that big. I mean, it's all over the world, obviously. Right. But as far as your own local area, you know, you're not going to call your competitor up and say, what do you think of my Which listing? I like, <laughs> would love to do sometimes would love to talk to my competitors about how I have emailed some people and been like, I just need to ask you a question. Like, how are you doing this? Yeah, you know, and totally. somehow I've been able to find their information, but, but this is obviously an easier way to do that since we're all in the same, we're all in the same boat. So as far as listing optimization goes, that is our baby step tier. So if you're listening to this and you say, I could use that, that's the, tier that's the way you. to start. So the second tier we have is called make it work. And we call this the design basic. So everything we just said we would do in this plus we would have a written space design suggestions with a with a, your current setup in furniture. So this is us looking at your photographs on your listing and really diving into what could be done with this space. We did that with Jordan's listing. We basically did everything with Jordan's listing. And we will link to that in this episode. So that was our two-part video series where we thoroughly went through an Airbnb listing of a farmhouse in upstate New York. Something that's, I mean, it's fun for us because we're like interior design nerds. You know, look at every photo and be like, could you move that here? Could you paint that wall white? Could you take those lamps out? and put, With what you have, not exactly saying like, okay, get this all new stuff, which is not what we do either. We don't. <laughs> which is why we call ourselves not perfect because what we want to do is encourage you to use what you have 
to the best degree that you can use it. So we're not saying go out and buy a $3,000 couch. We're saying if you're going to use that couch, great, no problem. Maybe move move it to the other side of the room or bring it away from the wall or, you know, things that people who are in the space enough, they just don't see anymore. Right. Exactly. Like you said, it's easy to uh, miss those things when it's your own space and you're worried about all these other things. You're worried about, you know, cleaning the house and keeping it stocked and making sure the mugs aren't broken and paying the electrical bill, you know? So you're like, Oh, I need throw pillows. Like I didn't even think of that. <laughs> yeah, or a coffee table. Yeah, know? like the Airbnb that Ryan is in right now that we're recording this in, you know, the first thing I noticed when I walked in was there are no lamps in here. Like like lamps next to the beds or the it's just overhead lights. It's just all overhead lighting. So that might be something because you haven't actually stayed in your own Airbnb. Right. You might not even think of oh at night you know, I don't have a lamp next to my bed to read a book. Right. So we might look at your listing and say right away, you know, you might want to think about moving that lamp or getting a lamp or, you know, just these little basic things that sometimes just miss people's radar. Well, and the other thing too is I think that those little details are what change an Airbnb and make it an awesome experience. The bed I'm staring at right now. No bedside lamp, no plugs near the bed, nothing essentially to like put my stuff on. Um, No dresser. So there are things like this where you're like, just the little tiny things where you're like, oh, I feel at home here. Like instantly it's been thought about. So this tier is all about us looking at your listing or you might not have listed yet. So looking at pictures that you provide to us about something that you're working on. And, and us giving you suggestions about your current setup and furniture and are there ways that you could move things around and make them more host ready. And so we would send you an, an email of what we thought of, but we would also do a, a like a video conference phone call with you to go through the photos and really talk through them, which I think is super fun. <laughs> it's really fun. And you'll see with our design video that we did for Jordan's house in New York, you know, we could go on and on and on. And if we do an hour video call with you looking at your space, you will have more than you need to work with. So it's, it's definitely a, a good tier in terms of bang for your buck. Right. So our third tier we called, let's get this party started. It's design advanced. So everything we already talked about is included And then we actually do talk about um, design and buying suggestions based on your budget. So if you're thinking of upgrading or changing or switching stuff out, we would keep that in mind when talking about this. We would, you know, start talking about like an idea board. Um, If you took a photo of a bedroom and you're like, what do I do with this? Right now I have the most basic bed and like a white bedspread. That's, it's like a dorm room. You know, I've, I've stayed in those places. Um, <laughs> what can you do to not spend a ton of money? I'm assuming nobody wants to spend a ton of money, but make it thought about and designed. So the other way that this tier is helpful is you have a space. And it's not an Airbnb yet, and you are thinking about converting it. Maybe it's a guest room, maybe it's a carriage house, maybe it's, you know, a second floor apartment or something. And you're like, what do you think? It's a blank slate. It's a blank slate. What do I do? So it could be, I mean, that could definitely get more in depth, but as far as us looking at a guest room or looking at, you know, a two bedroom something, you know, we could look at it and say, great, here's a design board of things that you could put in this room right now to make this Airbnb ready. Obviously, if it's more in depth than that, we would suggest the custom tier, which we can get into. It's funny that you mentioned a guest room because there was one time where you and I just for fun um, randomly picked a guest room on Airbnb, like a one room it was actually like we did sort of a trial run through before we did Jordan's house to see like if we were on the same page in terms of like what we would do with this one guest room, right? You're like, it's one room, but these people were renting out one room. It was funny how much advice we had 
we didn't give it to. I would love to write them. A I know, I know. We see this all the time. Guest We're like, room in Florida. Does anyone somewhere? want unsolicited advice? Because we have <laughs> oh, so <my> much way. <laughs> of it. <laughs> well, what's funny is. Um, I feel like there are probably people listening who are like, I just rent one room. You rent one yeah, room. I, I, I rent room. I rent run room. I rent run. <laughs> yeah, say it three times fast. <laughs> but we, I think we talked for almost 45 minutes yeah. and we were just talking about that room. Yep. And a majority of that was what they could do with what they already had. Yes. It wasn't. It, it wasn't like go to West Elm and, you know, buy it all. Yeah. It was like, no, they could just do switch this around, move this, move this. And maybe only like a couple hundred bucks, which could have been one or two nights worth of a right. rental. It's already paid for. And then they could actually increase their, their fee. Right. So this is the thing. Here's what it comes down to is... We've heard from so many people who are like, well, we love listening to your podcast. And then in parentheses, we hear like, but we don't really want to pay you to do this. Right, right. The thing is, if you're renting right now and you're booked, that's great. Congratulations. We love yeah. that. If you are able to make some simple upgrades, even with what you've got, to just make your space a little bit more usable, user-friendly, beautiful, you know, desirable in your neighborhood, you could actually be charging even a little bit more. And so if you stretch that out through the year or if you're getting more listings because of that or you're getting more bookings because of that, this could be worth it for you. Right. Um, something I think about with our new Airbnb is we really need to stand out because of what our situation is. We're an apartment above a commercial building in a place where you can rent a cabin in the mountains. And my fear was, is anybody going to want to do that? I mean, we have some pretty nice um, hotels, like historic and boutique hotels on Main Street. But I'm like, but we're not a hotel. So I'm like in this weird spot, but I've been able to stand out from my competition, something we have to talk about because we designed it and we thought about it and people are seeing the pictures and they're like, I want to stay there. I want to stay in a three bedroom apartment in a vacation cabin rental place that like people just hang out on the river. You know, this is what we're talking about. Like making things like that happen where you're like, I have a one tiny little guest room in my house um, that has a mini fridge uh, how do I like class that up and make it so people are like, wow, I, this is like nicer than my house. You That's know? exactly it. So, so really with the, let's get this party started tier, the more, uh, advanced design tier. So this is all about helping you stand out from your competition, really looking at your area, giving you a personalized idea board, having an hour video phone call with you, giving you design and buying suggestions and all of that for just a $300 tier. Right. So it's, it, and it's really both of our advice. So it's not like you get passed off to an intern or something, you know, it's like, <laughs> I'm your intern. We are yes. interning for you. Yes. Um, and then just to bring it one step further if you have something that you need help with, whether you're getting started or you've been running for a while or you need some fresh eyes, that's also what the custom tier is for. Right. So it's really the sky's the limit there. If you don't see yourself in the tiers before or you feel like you have a whole house that you really need a lot of work on or you know it's a completely blank slate, that's really where the custom tier comes in. And so you can just shoot us an email and say, this is my situation. Right. Maybe this is my area. Here are a couple pictures, whatever you've got. And say, you know, maybe you have a budget, maybe you don't in terms of working with us. So just give us whatever information you have, and then we can work with you. We'll have a back and forth about what um, services best fit your situation. And we think this stuff is really fun. We were hanging out a few months ago and we were like, this is cool and I think this is needed and I would have a blast doing this. I had a blast doing um, Jordan's house on our video. I like... I just like spent my free time like doing little Photoshop things. Like, you know, yes. I'm like, I want to see things improved. I want to see people have nice experiences. I want to see people make money using your space and having people. Jay always says this about our places. 
He's always like, people are having like great memories at our places, like that they'll never forget. And you're like, what a cool thing to be able to do for people, like really have them feel like they're in a special place, even if it's your basement apartment, you know, or whatever. It's your little guest room in back. So, you know, I'm thinking about this even for the place that we're sitting in right now. Right. So the difference between what you're describing right now and the place that we're sitting is right. this place is two doors practically down the street from my house. Right. I don't know how you feel about it, but if this place had just that extra bump up, what we're describing, you would 100% come back here and come visit me right. in this specific Airbnb. Yep. Because it doesn't have those things, I'm not sure you would come back and stay here, which means you're not creating like a, a sustainable economy for yourself. Right. And, and what you just said is when people came to visit, you would be like, oh, stay in this place. Exactly. This is our favorite like little place. Like it's it's a little gem. It's great. They have great hosts. It's literally from walking distance from my house. But because it's a little bit like meh. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know if I would recommend it. It's just it. like a one-time thing. Like I don't want my mom to stay. You know, I wouldn't right. want mom to stay here. Right. I feel like it's just on the edge right. of being great. And what we said this morning when you got here and I was kind of joking around, oh, like this is missing. Like beds are super comfortable, whatever. There's just like a little bump up. It's such a minor bump up from, from what it is now. And I feel like, I mean, there are times when I even look at my places where I'm like obviously obsessed with like every possible amenity for people. You know, there are still times where I'm like, oh, wow, I don't know how I missed that. Like there are things where like, you know, our firm house rental has been going for, I think we counted four and a half years. To me, that seems like an eternity. And I'm like, I can't believe we missed X thing. Like, whatever it was that we missed. And I'm like, it just took one person to be like, oh, I needed this thing. And you're like, I can't believe I didn't have that. I needed a second pair of eyes. So that's what we're trying to offer. We're super excited about it. We're, we're like so passionate about it. It's so fun for us. And we want to share. Yay. Okay. All right. Listen to our next podcast. Okay, bye. Bye. Thanks for listening to Shampoo and Booze at shampooandbooze.com. As usual, you can send us your questions with an audio file or written to shampooandbooze at gmail.com, and we'll do our best to cover the topics that you care about. Don't forget about our design and listing advice services. Head over to our services page at notperf.com to book your design advice session.